Good evening. The eyes of the world will be on Adelaide Oval tomorrow when Australia's cricketers take to the field without teammate Philip Hughes. But he'll be with them in spirit, having been named the honorary 13th man. Damien Ryan and Eddie Godfrey have been covering the final preparations. We go first to Damien Ryan. Damien, it's been an arduous journey to what will be an emotion charge test. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it is uh, as ideal that the players want and the fans want, and they would all agree that the only way forward and the best way forward is to play a game of cricket. Now, the stage is set. Michael Clark will captain Australia onto the Adelaide Oval, which is looking magnificent. And we've just seen the ground staff finish off one more tribute for Philip Hughes, painting his test number 408 on the Oval. Now, the players will stand behind that tomorrow as the game honours Philip Hughes before the first ball is bowled. Alone in the middle of the Adelaide Oval, Michael Clark was playing the game in his mind, preparing for a test match he feared he would miss, and now one that he'll remember for the rest of his life. It's a huge boost to have him uh, back in and playing for us. I think with his captaincy, um, and he showed how strong he's been over the last uh, couple of weeks. And when the captain leads his team out tomorrow, they will have Philip Hughes close to their heart and minds. His test number, 408, has been emblazoned on their shirts. He's also been officially named as the 13th player. What about that? And today, coach Darren Lehman showed off Hughes's special place in the dressing room. Uh, Phil Hughes, yep. Yeah. Uh, great man. He was a great man, wasn't he? Yep, and we'll never ever forget him. They say the game will not change and whoever bowls first tomorrow will send down a bouncer. Shane Watson yesterday admitted there will be apprehension and it seems the bowlers may struggle as well. It's going to be an emotional uh, morning uh, and, and probably looking at it from our uh, first little part of the game, I guess, um, you know, for me going out there and bowling, the first spell might be the, the most difficult and then might just get into the game a bit more. And that other bowler caught up in this tragedy, Sean Abbott, is doing the same. It was feared the ball that fatally struck Philip Hughes may have been his last. But the 22-year-old was back in the nets today and will play for New South Wales against Queensland tomorrow. Meanwhile, back in Adelaide, Michael Clark was settling back into his role as captain. But behind those smiles, a gritty determination to dig in for a mate. In Adelaide, Damien Ryan... Nine News. And the staging of the first test three days earlier than originally scheduled has posed a huge challenge for organisers. Eddie Godfrey joins us live now. Eddie, one of the biggest challenges is predicting just how many will attend. That's right, Kate. Cricket Australia says there are plenty of tickets still available for the test, but there are potentially thousands of people out there who would like to come along, but they simply can't because they've only arranged to have their days off later in the week. Despite that, Adelaide Oval Management is preparing for a big turnout, and we took a special look inside the ground and behind the scenes today at how some of those preparations are coming along. An early test, not only for players, but also ground staff who are under pressure to have Adelaide Oval ready in time. Obviously it's been an enormous logistical task bringing for the test uh, from uh, Friday to Tuesday. While everything appears calm on the surface, it's a different story underground. <laughs> Catering staff working extra hours to prepare food much earlier than expected. Just working with suppliers to get the product on site on time, it's just hectic. Executive chef Hamish Robertson and his 80 odd staff cooking thousands of corporate meals and kiosk favourites. We're going to do about 55,000 punnets of chips, we're going to do about 10,000 hot dogs every two days. His kitchen also supplies fruit for bars around the ground. We'll use about two tonnes of cut fruit for the PIMS tents. Tomorrow's early start has challenged nearby businesses too. This North Adelaide pub fast-tracking renovations ahead of its busiest week for the year. Madness around here at the moment. We've got yeah, tradies everywhere just trying to get it all finished. So, yeah, we're ready for tomorrow. Despite uncertainty about how many will attend the rescheduled test, local venues are stocking up big. We've got all the kegs that we usually have, which is a couple of dozen, and then uh, this morning we got about another 40-odd delivered on top of that. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.